Hello, hi, uh, good morning, <coughs> and welcome to my video lesson. So <coughs> it is the <coughs> third part of the lesson. <coughs> we have discussed a few sample resources, and we have discussed uh, main two topics. Uh, that is all about <coughs> the old concept that is in ancient period. contribution of greek scholars and this is the third part evolution of geography that uh, how that uh, process process of evolution uh, how the subject is developed uh, how the subject was developed fine uh, that uh, different contribution from uh, different scholars now we are discussing about the scholars in europe particularly in uh, greece <clears throat> so remember my dear students Uh, we people are <coughs> learning about geography <coughs> geography is a subject that deals with man earth and environment right three important thing man earth and environment and here uh, particularly see for uh, in a general we people are deals with this three tricks uh, but particularly it's a graduation uh, bachelor in science bsc degree or msc degree we people are trying to learn uh, something more about uh, geography that is geographical process geographical pattern and geographical behavior different phenomena and all those things and uh, that thought process how this one are developed and in the last uh, uh, two videos uh, we have discussed about four important scholars uh, that is tales anaximander right the first uh, mathematical geographer uh sorry first cartographer then <coughs> see cartography is a subject that deals with certain uh, kinds of mapping maps and all those things right uh, see anaximander he is known as the uh, first known cartographer he prepared a uh, what a particular a map uh, with certain mathematical calculation so, so he is a uh, mathematician and uh, his tradition is quite connected with mathematics and all those things and we have discussed about two more uh, people that is hecatius right then herodotus hecatius uh, some scholars uh, is saying that hecatius is the father of geography and today we are uh, saying again one more person eratosthenes you know, so that popular person uh, he is known as the father of geography Right. and uh, in one uh, one of in my one of my video homer is known as father of the see i um, that uh, collected from different resources different material learning material it shows different explanations so i am just giving you uh, this explanation and you have to refer some material and uh, consider uh, which one is the better option right i am discussing different points with you with you people with students and students have the responses or the learners have the responsibility to find out the uh, better uh, who is better who is the right person right so today also we are discussing about three important scholars that is eratosthenes plato and aristotle that uh, greece the great civilization that is the center of uh, attraction in that time uh, in that ancient period a uh, great civilization fine right? uh, that a great civilization uh, with lots of scholars fine right? uh, lots of scholars many many scholars all are contributed towards history geography uh, what mathematics fine right? uh, geometry uh, different subjects fine right? uh, different subject uh, all of them contributed uh, heavily to the development of science see the greek contributed two important things that is the technique of writing and democracy right that the two important contribution from the greek and here we people are discussing particularly about uh, geography what are the contribution of uh, greek people uh, in geography so the oldest civilization that old lessons 
So today we are discussing about Erasmus, commonly known as the father of geography, then Plato and Aristotle, three important scholars. So uh, one is known as the father of geography, one is known as the father of political science, one is known as the father of philosophy. Aristotle is the father of philosophy. Uh, is claiming some people claiming Plato is known as the father of political science, uh, politics, political science, and Erasmus is uh, popularly known as the father of geography. So let us start with Erasmus uh, has been regarded as the father of geography. He is the one who coined the term geography, deriving from the two words G, meaning the earth, and the graphy, meaning to describe. Fine. So description about earth. So Erasmus has been regarded as the father of geography. So he coined two words. Uh, he uh, extracted that uh, words, that Greek words, G and uh, uh, graphy, right? Geography. <clears throat> then he is uh, credited the credited to provide the uh, definition of geography as the study of the earth as the home of man. Study of the earth as the home of man. He is credited to provide the definition of geography as the study of earth as the home of man. So uh, who coined the uh, term study of earth as the home of man? That is Erasmus. His outstanding contribution for uh, for which his uh, he is known throughout the world is the measurement of the uh, earth's circumference. Circumference, fine. So I will show you that. Uh, all this, this is the diagram that uh, depicts the circumference, fine. Uh, how he measured the circumference of the earth, fine. Uh, yes, that is his major contribution. Uh, the next one, he has used Thales' theorem uh, when, wait, yes, he has used Thales' theorem uh, when two parallel lines are crossed diagonal, diagonally by a straight line, the opposite angles are equal while measuring the earth circumference. Uh, his remarkable contribution was his text Geographica. So uh, there is a chance for asking this kind of question. Who wrote the book Geographica? Uh, so that is Erasmus. He is also uh, delineated the world into five climatic zones: uh, one torrid zone, <coughs> two temperate zone, and two frigid zones. <coughs> so uh, his uh, book. Uh, Erasmus and his book that is known as Geographica. He is also delineated the two uh, the world into five climatic zones: one torrid zone, two temperate zone, and two frigid zone. So that is a torrid zone uh, that is the uh, equator part, and temperate zone that above the equator, and the frigid zone that is polar zones. So he is the person. He is the Erasmus and is credited for this kinds of observations. He is also measured different latitudes and longitudes. Uh, it is for this reason the Rastosanis that Rastosanis is considered as the father of geodesy <laughs> that is connected with certain geophysics uh, that is concept that is in uh, that is connected with geophysics that uh, the measurement of latitude and longitude right you maybe you know that what you mean by latitude and longitude see you people have learned in the school curriculum right <clears throat> so he is also known as the father of geodesy <clears throat> right so hope you people have learned something about it. Aristotle, his text that is known as Geographica and his famous quote uh, that is study of earth as the home of man. <clears throat> okay, then next one, Plato. <clears throat> so Plato, what is, uh, see, the father of political science, what is his contribution in, uh, contribution in <clears throat> geography? Plato is regarded as the master of uh, detective reasoning. <clears throat> deductive reasoning from the general to particular so the concept he introduced that deductive reasoning general to particular so means on uh, that uh, studying about a particular subject <clears throat> he is considered to be the first scholar who adopted the idea of round earth located in the center of the universe with the other celestial body revolving around it in a circular motion uh, we, now you know that that concept is a wrong, uh, but uh, Plato considered Earth as the center of the universe and other celestial bodies are uh, spinning 
around the earth spinning uh, spinning around the earth so celestial body means moon uh, that other planets so uh, that uh, sun etc then so that is all about plato <clears throat> so the third one aristotle uh, he is popularly known as the father of philosophy <clears throat> Aristotle provided that the uh, provided the first paradigm within the theoretical framework that existed in Europe at that time. Paradigm means a style of uh, explaining certain uh, scientific concept in, uh, that is uh, say uh, that uh, changing time to time. Certain way of explaining certain concepts uh, that may be connected to science, mathematics, uh, philosophy, whatever it is. So he is a uh, provided that the first paradigm within the theoretical framework that exist, existed in the Europe at that time. <clears throat> he emphasized that the observation which were made through the <clears throat> senses do not provide explanation, especially the scientific explanation. He formulated laws or fundamental principles of scientific explanation, which became a, a guiding force for the scholars in future centuries. He agreed with uh, Plato that the earth is spherical in shape and went a step further by seeking an explanation for the spherical shape. Mm. He even contributed to the branch of human geography when he put forward the concept of variations in habitability on, on the surface of the earth on the basis of latitudinal position, that old one, that different zones, storage zone, temperate zone, polar zone, likewise. He opined, <clears throat> he opined that the regions nearer to the equator were uninhabitable and he developed and named it as the Torrid zone. Similarly, the parts of the earth which was away from the equator and were <clears throat> permanently frozen were also uninhabitable, that is frigid zone, Since that uh, today's Arctic and Antarctic. It is all based on certain observation, not for uh, he never uh, gone to this place. It's all based on his uh, observation. <clears throat> the population of the earth lived in the temperate zone, which existed between the torrid and frigid zone. So uh, that is his concept. And it is a map prepared by Aristotle and his method. Not Aristotle, it is the map prepared by the uh, Erasmus and is that in the in that time world map and this is the circum the measurement how he measured the circumference of the earth so that is all about today's video <clears throat> so uh, three important scholars that is Erasmus and is Aristotle and Plato and uh, definitely a uh, few people are uh, means nearly 30 31 people are regularly attending the assessment and all those things uh, i heard that nearly 45 students are there in our class and for uh, 41 students already admitted in already taken the admission i don't know about what remaining 11 students kindly watch the video lessons attend the assessment regularly it is very important kindly attend the assessment regularly so my dear students uh, hope you people are doing well <laughs> so thanks for watching you can ask your doubts uh, through call for uh, through dialing my number or through whatsapp through email or any medium fine i will try to clear the doubts if i know the answers uh, if i know the answer then I will quickly, I will reply. If I don't know the answer, I will refer some material and I will give you the answer. So that's all about today's lesson. It's about contribution of Greek scholars, that three important scholars. So thank you. Thank you for watching my video lesson. Thank you. Thanks a lot.